I, I don't think we ever went out and ate fried chicken. <laughs> When I was a child, my mom made fried chicken all the time, and my dad was a hobbyist beekeeper, and so we drizzled yeah. the fried chicken and honey. To me, it makes such great sense because it's kind of like the reason that we eat salty popcorn mm -hmm. and sweet chocolate at the movie theater. Mm -hmm. I've got some chicken here that we've already brined for about 12 hours. Oh, and wow. then uh, this is good full fat buttermilk. Mm -hmm. It's the only kind to use. Yeah, yeah. And then this is just a, a leftover shopping bag. Big bag. What did you, what did you shop in there? <laughs> what are you buying, babies? <laughs> so we've got just some all-purpose flour here. And then does it ha does it matter? Like it has to be a brown paper bag, or can it be? <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be a white paper bag. <laughs> just gonna season that with some salt, toasted ground peppercorn. Shake it off just a little bit before it goes in. Just drop it right in. Gentle, gentle, yeah. or you want me to be harsh? With I mean, I, I don't think being harsh is necessary, but do one more wink. I, I like one the more wings. wings. You like the wings. So this keeps the flour nice and contained. Uh, but in addition to that, it gives us the ability to get flour into all those little crevices under the wings, you know. It really works perfectly. That technique, that hot, hot technique is something, isn't it? What if you're shaking it and the bag rips in the bottom and all your chicken goes flying across the room? Well, that's the problem with these new fancy These new fangled bags, right? <laughs> Are you one of those? They don't make them like they, they don't make to. them like they used <laughs> you, to. You're already an old lady? All right. <laughs> The great thing about fried chicken is it talks to you. It tells you what it's doing. You know? right. So it's telling you right now you know, that some of the moisture from the inside of the chicken is starting to interact yeah. with the heat, starting to cook out. And if we didn't hear that noise, we'd be worried that perhaps our temperature isn't right. Mm -hmm. You know, this you can is almost see immediate. It, yeah. Yeah. There's a space right above here. Like, if you get too close, it's too hot. Yeah. If you get too far away, it's a, there's like a column of like chicken smell that's happening right here. Well, I have a kind of funny story about that smell. There's a section of Raleigh where the chicken trinity is. There's a churches, okay. I like a Kentucky, churches, a Kentucky fried chicken, and a Bojangles. And I would, on certain days, like smell that frying chicken smell. And I always kind of wondered, like, is it drifting from that other neighborhood? I was driving back from the beach one day with a friend, and I was talking about that because I smelled that smell. My friend informed me that, in fact, that was a... Um, dog food factory. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I so, knew uh... I liked dog food. For <laughs> Making me so hungry. And so we're going to add just a little bit of salt to the outside of these guys to really ensure that great uh, salty sweet mm -hmm. combination. So we're going to warm up some honey. And I've got some chilies and a couple cloves of garlic. And then I've got just a little bit of thyme. Garlic and honey is such a Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. A little bit of butter here, just to help us emulsify all those flavors. It's so simple, but it's really, it's really... It's really elegant, too. Yeah, it's I love really it. nice. So we're just going to do a pretty light drizzle over the top. Yeah, get on in there. How is it? It's so good. I like that big mound of chicken, too. Yeah. And that... It's beautiful. It's fried chicken and honey. 